So folks, today we're here at GT Auto Garage with my Toyota Supra, it's a JZ80. Um, this thing has been previously putting out around 800, 850 horsepower at the wheels. Um, the last time we did a video about it was CAT versus DCAT, whether it made any difference in the power, thanks to X-Force. Now, again, thanks to X-Force, GT Auto and MDS Fab, this is this guy here. Um, we are going to do a comparison of CAT, three and a half, oh sorry, it's a four inch, um, which is basically the same as the old cat that we had. It was a three and a half inch cat yeah. that you've cut to yep. be a four inch cat. So four inch body, three and a half inch. Yep. yep. So we're going to do a comparison between with the cat on a four inch exhaust. This has now got the new four inch system that starts off with a five inch dump. Um, was that lobster cut or whatever it's called? Yeah, pie cut. Yeah, um, pie cut uh, down there and goes to a four inch system to a super dragger. Uh, muffler, which is my favorite Toyota, oh, sorry, my favorite uh, exhaust system for the Supra, but it wasn't big enough because the factory they only come with a, like a three and a half inch inlet. So Mike was changed out to a four inch. So we're going to be doing the four inch cat, four inch D cat, and uh, with and without the screamer pipes. So we're going to test to see what the power and boost curve is like, as well as the back pressure between having and not having a screamer pipe. If anyone doesn't know what a screamer pipe is, basically it bypasses the um, exhaust system and allows you to dump the uh, exhaust gases to atmosphere um, so when you come on boost and the gate opens I'm not sure how much difference that's going to make if at all because we're running quite high boost on this today we're going to be pushing somewhere around 850 plus horsepower last time when we did the cat comparison we were only running 750 horsepower um, so it may be a little bit of a different comparison because of we're pushing a hell of a lot more exhaust gas um, and we're probably getting close to the max of what we can do on that catalytic converter. Last time it was only 15 horsepower difference between with and without the cat. Um, now that we're running 33 PSI, um, last time I think it was 25 pound that we ran. So on 33 PSI, uh, we'll expect that it's probably getting close to the maximum efficiency of what that 3.5 inch or four inch body cat can do. Um, and then after that, we've got uh, Michael's favorite, which oh, is pipes. the, the uh, hood exit Out exhaust. The yep. And that's why we've got the bonnet off the car at the moment so that we can see all the flames and exhaust gases coming straight out. Was it three inch off this the turbo? This is just three, yeah. So um, what's that? You got three inch outlet on the turbo itself. Yeah. So there's not really much point of going much larger out of that distance. Yeah, for a foot. Yeah. Yes. And then at least this way, if there is flames, we'll get to see them all yes. concentrated out that Dial way. it up a bit more. Yep. So. Cool. All right. Well, uh, let's get into it. First one we're going to be doing is the normal uh, plumb back wastegate and uh, full four inch exhaust system with a catalytic converter. So we'll do that one first. Then we'll do it with the screamer pipe. Then we'll swap over to having the DCAT and screamer. Uh, and then after that, we'll just go the hood exit. So which part do you take it out? Okay, so this part right here, uh -huh. there's a slip joint connector right there and that directs, you know, if we disconnect it here, it's straight to the floor. Undo this and then we put this blank in. This bad boy radio, can you see it? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah and that just goes straight into there. So that's the part that comes out? Yep. That's the bit. Oh. Man, that's huge for a screen room. <laughs> okay. We on. Are you able to yep. grab this and then just show the exit of the screen room? Yep. Not upside down. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. cool. Sweet as. All right, now let's see what it does with the uh, scraper pipe and uh, still have a catalytic converter and everything else.
Decat time. It's going in. Okay, so now we've got a no cat and a screamer pipe as well. So this is probably what I'm most curious to see what it sounds like. five-inch dump down there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a suggestion <laughs> that we swung with. <laughs> I think it's because everyone said you couldn't do it. Yeah. And you're like, fuck that, I'm doing it. Oh, it's happening. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that's ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, you don't. <laughs> Alright, so chuck this thing on here. Pretty cool. Ugh. So you reckon it'll, it'll make any difference to power? Yes. Yes, it will. <laughs> if it doesn't make a difference to power, it'll put a smile on your face at least. So will you need to tweak the tune for this day? Yes, we will. Okay, Dave, what was our results? Well, not as big as we thought it was going to be. Um, so our baseline figure was 837 horsepower. Yep. And yeah, that so was 34 PSI, was it? Yeah, so all runs we did on 34, 34 and a half. So pretty much coming on to boost were about the um, 32, uh, sorry, yeah, about 30, 32 pounds. And then we crept up to about 34 through the mid-range. As you see by the torque here, and then just with controlling of it, we did taper off a little bit top end, but pretty much around that, yeah, 32 to 34. Okay. Identical runs back to back, um, so all the exhausts we changed, we kept the boost identical, um, air fuels identical, and ignition identical. So there's no variation on the tune. So there would be a possibility to squeeze more out for each Correct. configuration, but that wasn't what we we're trying to prove. No, in this. no, okay. it was it was more a back to back of having. Uh, plumb back exhaust, uh, a bigger cat, uh, sorry, with no cat, cat, no yeah. cat, um, and then exhaust, like no exhaust. <laughs> yeah, and our um, back pressure was. In, in all honesty, the back pressure, to anything over 6,000 RPM, our back pressure changed 2 to 3 psi max um, with any of the modified, like any type of exhaust change. 
um, it was more through our mid-range, as you can see by the torque, that we actually saw the biggest difference um, depending on the exhaust size or the modifications we did. Okay. Um, so yeah. the results and were 837 base, that's yeah. plumbed back with the cat. Yes. Then what did we get for and the um, screamer didn't make? A screamer external didn't make, it was identical, there was like, oh, I think it was the like 8 horsepower or something, and it was yeah. very... So you don't need a screamer on the street, do you? <laughs> no, you don't. <laughs> um, then we went, no cat. Yep. And last time we saw that actually made a bit of difference. We got 15 horsepower when it was running the Three, lower boost. We were 750 so. wheel. Yes. And then it was about 15 horsepower between with and without a cat. Correct. And that was on a three and a half inch inlet, five inch body and three and a half cat. inch outlet. Yes. And now we've just taken the same cat and then made it a four inch cat basically by making the... Four inch cat? Yeah. Yeah, the four tapers. Yeah. 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 Um, but oh, we've also, but we've also gone out... Ah, uh, that's right, yes. Which will make a big difference. Okay, so this is the cat that we've put in this time. So it's the same as what we used last time, but this time it's uh, gone up to a four inch in and out. Um, but so any power, like any extra power, it's probably helped by that uh, dump pipe. Yeah, so the, so the, yeah, so the five inch dump pipe okay. that we've got in the back, that, that can be fitted to a standard super engine. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So that would have made it, you know, that's going to change a lot of the characteristics of what we've just done. Yep. Um, if I think if we were had the three and a half and kept with it and then did what we've just done, I think we would have seen on the back pressure side. I think we sort of seen yeah. it more earlier on like yeah. a change. We saw without cat, we actually did see that was well, pretty much that. That was. It's, the end was, yeah, still yeah. 14 horsepower. So about horsepower 14 difference. horsepower, okay. Yeah. So there was a little bit of difference there, but that's at more boost than we run for the street anyway. Oh, yeah. So it's like 10 yeah. pound more than we're actually planning on running. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So this was just to get a good high boost, high, you know, kind of pushing it a bit for a stock bottom end. Um, <laughs> just a tad. Just a little bit. It, um, but it, it's... It's going to show if there was ever any restriction yes. at that sort of boost level. Yes. Yeah, it's kind of pushing it to the limit. Yeah. Um, of the combination that we're running it's um and then straight out the hood we didn't pick up any power so that was when it, without any changes it did start yeah, to come correct. on but that was trying to run 37 pounds yeah or it was over 36 pounds on that run yeah. so i backed off so we had a consistent runs on it at the same see, boost level at the same yeah. boost yeah. yeah um and then in the end it was this one of those two the, the, the green, green and the red one the yeah. green line yeah so that green line there was the end yeah at the same boost same everything so it was pretty much overlaid to the um having no cat but the full exhaust system yeah um, we still had same back pressures above six thousand um and it, below it was the same as having no cat on this lower run yeah um yeah so i guess the conclusion is that on a a properly like a good free-flowing exhaust yeah there's no benefit there's to not having an exhaust at all <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. what then there's no need for resorting to anything like this no so. yeah not with what we're running with boost levels no we're at you know 34 35 pounds i mean I'm, i know there's guys running a lot more boost and, and that's where you will see a, a, yeah. a bigger variant but with what we've come up with today it's been um, pretty consistent really yep um, and our back pressure test we we had the back pressure um, pre-turbo we didn't check it after like so it's down there going up to this yeah. guy um, if we'd have had it after the turbo then we would have just seen purely the back yeah, pressure of the cat yeah, yeah. yeah in that area but okay. we're, we're looking at yeah to see what the effects of exhaust does on your turbo and keeping it at one size. Yeah. Yes, you'll go up a size in your exhaust housing if you went up to a 1.21. Um, oh, I'm thinking we wind it back to a 0.87 yeah, anyway. It's a more streetable response yeah. set up then. Because this is a little bit laggier than I'd have yeah. liked. Um, just hopefully they won't start that. Yep. Okay. Well, that's, uh, that's pretty much it from us. Uh, we can't hear now anyway, but uh, thanks to X-Force, MDS and GT Auto for letting us do this test today, and there's our results. It's alright. It doesn't matter.